What's up guys, Talton Robertson back at it again and today I'm going to be showing you how to source online arbitrage products. So let's dive into it. So before I dive into it, I just want to explain what online arbitrage is and how you can do it. So online arbitrage is just like any type of arbitrage except for you're doing it online. If you don't know what arbitrage is, that is when you buy something from one place and sell it at another place for profit. And so you're able to do this online much faster and much easier than you can say retail arbitrage where you have to actually go out to the store and hunt for the products. Instead, you would be sh shopping online and just buying your units, having it shipped directly to your house, and then sending it into Amazon. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in so that I can show you the method to find these products that you can sell and make money on. So, we're now in my computer. And so, the first thing I personally like to do is I like to open up Helium 10. So I have it saved right here and it's going to open up my Helium 10 app. And so Helium 10 is a website. It's more or less a tool to use for Amazon. It gives you a lot of data. It's really good if you are like buying products, manufacturing them yourself or, you know, buying them in China and having them manufactured. And then you have your own listing and, uh, you're essentially like trying to get keywords, look at volume, do product research, all of that different stuff. I use Helium 10 just for its black box feature, which allows me to do product research based on products that I'm looking for. And so I'll show you how I use it. So once I'm in here in my dashboard, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find black box here. So I'm going to click black box. And then it's going to pull up black box. Now, Black Box is basically an Amazon product research tool. And so this is going to allow me to pull up a bunch of different listings using certain criteria. So we're going to do a product search. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up these advanced filters. I don't know if I'm going to use them yet or not. But categories, we could do any category. I'm not going to click any um price i'm not worried about price i'm not worried about any of this but under the advanced filters title keyword searches so under the title keyword search here i'm going to be looking for a product say great value great value is a walmart product you can only buy great value products at walmart now, granted, you can buy them on Amazon, uh, but they come from Walmart. So if you know that great value is Walmart's white label brand, you can search up great value. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll search up great value. And why are we doing this? It's a good question. We're going to search up great value because we know that anybody selling great value items are buying their products from Walmart. And we want to buy other products from Walmart and sell them and make a profit. So I'm going to use great value in this keyword search here and I'm just going to search. And we have 200 plus products, but look, great value, boom, right here. Great value, boom. All this is just great value stuff. So all of these listings are good listings to start looking at. So I'm just going to go with the top listing here. Let's see. This is great value, mocha, hazelnut, caramel, coffee mixes. So I know that whoever's selling this, this bundle this is a three pack. They're buying these from Walmart. So one of the first things that you could actually do if you were curious or not, whether you can make money selling this listing 
is to type in uh, these different coffee mixes or cappuccino mix. They're cappuccino mix. So if I go to Google and type in cappuccino mix great value Walmart more than likely we'll have it pop up and look look at here there it is 12 pods let's make sure that this is the pods on the Amazon listing 12 count there's the pods uh, this one doesn't necessarily say if it's pods or that one. And so this isn't really the best listing to look at, but more than likely, um, uh, I would assume they're all pods. They might not be though, but you can see that you can buy the pods for three ninety eight dollars here at Walmart pick up today. So you can buy four of them for under $12 and you can sell them for twenty four twenty four, And so... When you find one of these listings, the first thing you're going to want to do to find out whether it's profitable or not is use this FBA calculator. And so this is a Chrome extension. You can go to the Google Chrome store and search in FBA calculator and then add this extension to your Chrome browser. So I'm just going to click that little pop up pops up here and I continue without the login. And so this will tell you if it's profitable or not. So the product price is $24.24. And then the product cost is approximately $12. It's probably going to be a little more. And then to ship it to Amazon, I would assume, you know, that's probably going to be about a dollar. You can't go wrong with a dollar. A dollar is always a good cost to go with, especially if it's light. So calculate. And the net profit on it is a dollar and thirty-two cents. So this is not something that we want to sell. Uh, I would hate to spend twelve dollars just to make a dollar and thirty-two cents. But that is okay. This is a product that sells at Walmart, and I basically showed you exactly what you need to do. Uh, however, there are a couple other little things. So I'm gonna exit out of this FBA calculator. Now we're going to look right here where it says new 11 from so here are other people selling this product and I have the Keepa extension so I'm actually able to see the stock so this person has four this person has eight one three but you know that doesn't really matter too much I can tell that no one's really buying a huge amount of these uh, so Probably all of these guys are doing a little bit of retail arbitrage, maybe some online arbitrage, but we want to just look at these different pages. So this guy's got 37 ratings, 100% over the last 12 months. So more than likely, he's a small to medium sized seller. Let's click on his page. So Road to Yellowstone. And you can see that, you know, he's got some okay reviews. Really, it says 100%. So, but we want to scroll down and then look at products. And you can click right here, see all products. Now we can get into the juicy stuff. So this is all the stuff that he sells. And so now that I'm looking at this, Members Mark, that's another store brand that's sam's club he's selling this 600 count for 2101 now i typically like to look at products that are selling for more than 20 dollars. these are going to be much easier to have profit on the top so i really wouldn't worry about this cream of wheat even though you might could buy it for like a dollar 48 or something at walmart uh when you're selling it for nine dollars a lot of your profit gets ate up in fees so I want to find, now that's interesting. Fancy Feast, $22.35 for 12 cans. Um, Fancy Feast, just, I think they're like a dollar a can. So I'm not even going to look at that. It's really not enough profit. 
RX Sugar. Plant-based sugar crystal. This is going for $17.29. We might look into that. Let's let's see here. Let's click this listing. And then we are going to look up this on Google. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to paste this right into Google. And look here, Rite Aid has it for $8.99. $8.99, that's different. Walmart, $8.99, that's different. So more than likely, you're getting it for $8.99. And you're probably going to be buying it from Rite Aid. So that's what I would look at would be this Rite Aid. So we can go to Rite Aid and get it for $8.99. But let's see if it's profitable or not. So we're going to come back to this page right here. And then we're going to run the FBA calculator. And after it does this thing, it's a little slow. We'll enter in our sale price, which is $17.29. Our product cost, which will be $9. And our ship to Amazon fee, we'll just call it a dollar and we'll calculate. So profitability, it's not profitable. This is not an item that we would want to sell. So let's go back from here. So we can look at some other products. And so this is the one we were looking at. But see this right here, pack of two for the Dove hairspray. Now that interests me right there for $31. So let's click this listing. So we know we have to buy two of them. I don't know how much Dove hairspray normally costs, but uh, this is probably something that you can get at Walmart. And then we want to do the non, and then we're going to search this on Google again. Oh, I messed up. Uh, sorry. Walmart sells it for $5.98. Target sells it for $5.99. So we know we'd have to buy two of them. It's going to cost us $12. But this is selling for $31. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it's profitable. Let's pull up the FBA calculator. And this looks like it could be very profitable. So we know we have... It's selling for $31.13. It's going to cost us approximately $12. And it's going to ship for about a dollar. Calculate. Boom, baby. Look at that. Profit. $7.42. And you can see here the margin is 23%. But the ROI is even more. It doesn't give me an ROI here. I wish it did. But the fact that we're spending 12 bucks to make seven, that's over a 50% ROI, guys. So that is great return. So now that we know that this product is super profitable, let's see how viable it is. Let's check the Keepa chart. So this is a Keepa chart. Keepa is another tool. And it pre-populates on my screen here. And this basically will tell me uh, the data. So right here, the sales rank, we can see that it sells all the time. A bunch of these like little ups and downs. That tells me it's selling all the time. And then this blue line right here, this is the new price. So And so we can see where it's been priced at historically. And so we can see on the low side, it's been as low as $24.99. And it's been like that for quite some time. Now, recently, the new price has been $31. It's been up 
as high as $45 and it's been as low as 29. So in the last two months here, it really has been selling about what it's selling at now, maybe a little higher. Uh, so I would feel very confident in buying this product. Now, another thing that I could do to give me an idea how many I want to buy is with the Helium 10 extension, I can click this right here and then I can run an x-ray. And so when I run the x-ray, it's going to tell me how many sales per month that this item does. And so you can see right here at 31.13, it made 329 sales. So this thing sells 329 times month over month. So we know it sells a lot. We know it's profitable to buy. What else do we need to know? Well, we need to know how many we want to order. We don't want to order too many to where we're stuck with it, but we also want to order enough to where we've got at least two or three weeks worth of sales. So one of the things you can do here is figure out how many competitive sellers there are. And so what makes a seller competitive? Well, are they shipping prom? So let's see here. So right here, this is shipped and sold by Road to Yellowstone. They have the buy box. They're shipping from their home. So they're not even shipping from Amazon. Now, here, ships from Amazon for $31.12. So uh, I don't really know why they don't have the buy box. Only thing I can think of is that their products are not really checked in. They only have one available. This guy right here. No, it doesn't tell me how many he has available. Hmm. Okay. Well, this guy's got two available. And then this is a $33 price. He's shipping from his house. So honestly, I honestly don't see any competition. This would be a product that I would have no problem ordering 100 units of. Now, if I wanted to be on the safe side, have a have a scarcity mindset, I could just order 50. Now, you got to remember this is a two pack. So if you order 50 of these, then you have to bundle them together, sell it as a two pack, and then you'll end up with 25 units. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, but this product's awesome. Nothing wrong here. Now, there's one last step. This is going to be the determining factor of whether or not this would be a product that I would buy. So I am going to log into my Amazon account. And I am just going to have this covered up so you guys can't see all of this. And not now. And I'm going to go to add products on my login page. All right. And so right here, you can find your products in the Amazon catalog. So from here, I am going to pull the ASIN. And so here I have my ASIN. Now this is part of my Helium 10 extension. So if you don't have Helium 10, you can do the same exact process. You just got to start on Amazon to do your searching. Helium 10 just basically makes searching for stuff a little easier uh, in my case. But once I grab that ASIN, I'm going to come back and I'm going to search that on Amazon seller. Now we can see here, this is the exact same product. It's got a decent sales rank. Select the condition. We're going to sell as new. It says show limit limitations, collectible, refurbished, used conditions. So I can sell this product. So I can click sell right there. And then I can proceed to list this. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have the product. But I could uh, if I had the product. So basically right there, what I was doing is I was making sure that I was not limited from selling this. If you are limited from selling something, it's going to show your limitations here. And it'll say you cannot sell in new condition. So in my case, I can sell in new condition. I can buy this product. And this product would make me $7. And it would be on every two bottles. 
So this would be a really good product for me to sell. And so you guys can do the exact same thing. This is one of the best sourcing strategies that I can possibly give you. And you, you just saw me do it live. It took all of 10 minutes. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you are wanting Helium 10 to make your searching much easier and also the x-ray feature to tell you how many cells it's selling per month, I'm going to leave that in the description below. Also, if you guys don't have Keepa, there's going to be a link to get Keepa in the description below. And as always, don't forget to drop the like and the subscribe button. It's very important. It helps out my channel. And I just want you guys to go out there, be successful, and keep on hustling. So you got this, and I'll catch you next time.